In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build the trading hall that Mumbo Jumbo currently has on Hermitcraft Season 7. And this design is actually by Wutax, and you'll find a link to his video down in the description below. And there will not be a tutorial for the villager converter because he used someone else's design who already had the tutorial, so you can also find a link to that. Or you can find a link to my video where I also have a super simple villager converter in that. These are the materials for one singular trading hall module right here, and it's tileable, so you're just going to want to multiply these materials by however many actual modules you have in your trading hall. To begin, we're going to start with one stone brick right here, and we're going to put a piece of carpet on it, then we're going to go up on both sides and place carpet on all of those blocks like that, and then we're going to place carpet up here, carpet up here, and then we're going to choose our job site. And yes, this is just a lectern. This can be whatever job site you want. So we're just going to be making a librarians for the time being. So you can place your job site there. And then out here we can have two additional blocks. This is just to stand on. This might just be dirt or the floor. Or this might not be needed. Just, just for the purpose of this tutorial. And now up here, back diagonally block. We're going to have an observer with string on it. And then back here we're going to get a stone brick. And then a note block. And then an observer facing downward and then a sticky piston on top of it. Then you're gonna go two blocks out and have a block of redstone there and then a fence gate below it like that. Now up here you're gonna have a trap door. You're gonna place it on that string. You're gonna open it like that. And then over here you're gonna have a trap door and set it just like that. And that is actually one entire section of a trading hall. And I'm just gonna add seven more onto this like we did over here. It's gonna be all built the exact same way except for at the very end actually technically this would be the very end here so at the very end of your uh, trading hall you're gonna have one extra uh, let's see you're gonna have one extra trap door like that that just creates a wall of that side there we have it we have seven more slots so eight in total and this is just a arbitrary number that I picked you are obviously gonna have just however many villagers you want so you're gonna build as many slots as you need to accommodate that but to put villagers into this you just need to get your villager like right here on the block here or right here in fact we can just put him there and you're gonna want to wait until it's actually a villager not a zombie villager because the villagers will actually pathfind into a uh, one of the nearest available spots for a job site and then you'll claim the job site like that and you'll see that this space will have locked so no more villagers can go into there looks like I accidentally forgot to place a gate there so if we spawn in another villager right here this guy should pathfind into this slot and occasionally they will go out of order but eventually they will fill up all the available slots because sometimes they'll walk past a slot and then they'll go into the next one that happened over there but eventually they were able to fill up all of the available slots there we go that guy actually just walked in there so you finally decided to go in there it took a little while about it but that guy is now all set if we put another villager out there this guy eventually should make his way over here they don't necessarily do it fast but they will do it eventually that's that's the trick with this so that guy started to go and there we go he just walked into that slot so you get the idea this these guys are just going to continue to filter on down to the end if you have a really really long trading hall like you may have to start moving the villagers farther up in the actual uh, trading hall like so that they can detect new job sites like this guy skipped this slot so this slot's gonna get filled out of order so this guy might go in here or he might go into one of these other slots so they don't necessarily go in order but they do fill all of them up eventually oh see here look this guy decided to just go into that slot so that was nice and easy he just decided now oh, I'm gonna go into the nearest slot instead of going all the way to the end and now with one more villager he should just make his way down here and we'll fill up this area of trading hall oh hey he actually just made it in i was looking at the villager trades there are no mending guys here there's proj prot quick chargers it's kind of it's kind of bad the only good one here is is silk touch but anyways uh Oh, Smite 5, that's actually pretty decent. I just want to see, did I did I just randomly get a Mending Guy? That'd be really funny. More Silk Touch, uh, Lure. No, we did not get our Mending Guy. But anyways, uh, that's going to be all for this tutorial. It's a pretty simple villager trading hall, and it works pretty well. Uh, like I said before, it is a design by Wutex. You can go check out his video in the description down below, along with a, uh, a world download of this world if you would be interested in looking at it more for yourself. 
Also guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial or found it useful or informative, then consider hitting that subscribe button and dropping a like on the video, turning on notifications if you do subscribe. I'm trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by 2021. I think we're on track, but I need your help anyways, uh, that'd be very much appreciated. But that's going to be all for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I've been Spieth, and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Bye.